immediately after this incident, this tragedy occurred with Kyle Rittenhouse. The mainstream media, pro-Antifa politicians were very quick to say this kid is a white supremacist terrorist. Uh, and so, even at that time, in the midst of all of that chaos, there was no interest in saying, hey, you know what, this is a tragedy, the, the crisis that the city is facing is, is, is a tragedy. Let's actually wait and follow the evidence and, and let this work itself through our judicial system. Uh, the government absolutely failed to fulfill this most basic responsibility of keeping their community safe. Kyle Rittenhouse shouldn't have gone and done what he did. Uh, but as you said, you know, he's, he's a foolish kid who, uh, like others in the community, felt like they had no other choice but to step up and to try to do their part to keep people safe. So this is this is the problem here, right? Is that there is no care or interest in evidence or the facts or justice. Really, it's about politics. It's about, hey, are you one of us or are you one of them? Are you on our team or are you the quote unquote enemy? And as we've seen in this example and others, if you're not on our team, then you are a racist, you're a white supremacist, you're a terrorist. And they levy out these allegations really without care, again, for the evidence, facts, uh, or the consequences. And we're seeing the same thing happening here uh, with the judge in this trial. Because of his ringtone being <laughs> a patriotic song, God bless the USA, well, obviously, they're saying, hey, he's, he's biased towards Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, so, so what conclusion are we to draw from that? That if you love America, then you are a white supremacist? Uh, this is the craziness of, of what we're seeing play out here, which really, for me, you know, it, it shows that they hate America that they have such disdain for those who love America, that this is the allegation that they throw out. And it's especially offensive as we sit here on Veterans Day. Uh, this disdain extends to those who have wear or worn the uniform, who are willing to sacrifice their lives to serve our country. It's extremely offensive, and they should be ashamed of themselves. They should.